to get. I should put it down there again. The fans get. Oh, put it on this. High on the goon bag. Okay, guys, you're now sitting on top of a goon bag. <laughs> no. Is it elevated okay? Yeah, it works awesome. There you go. This is literally just after we finished. Literally! Literally. It's good Whoa. fun. Whoa! And now I'm going to pretend you don't exist. Otherwise I'll just keep on speaking like it's there. Yeah. Hello, camera! <laughs> Hello! So you still are. Uh, you don't act like that normally. Hello! <laughs> I always do that. I'm like, Hello, <laughs> dear squad. <laughs> I always get off my feet and they're like, You've got the voice, dear friend. Yes, no. Ah, you suck. Maybe, of course. <laughs> you suck. Okay. Now, what was that thing you said about, um... That was an interesting point you had. It was interesting. Thank you, I try to have at least one. You're gonna move this over? Yeah. No, no, the, the, the thing about, um, the reason why... My goop thing. The reason... No, not the goop thing. Because the thing was good! That's a cool word, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, no, the whole thing, like, what new subscription models actually would come out? You buy the group. You buy the group. See, I still think it's the Shapeways model. I think those guys are going to be like... Getting shipped over to you? But that takes time! I, I... Do they ship it in... Oh yeah, I think it's like 10 days or something. That's too long. I want to create something instantaneously. I want to actually have a printer sitting right there on that desk. I say, I want Earl Grey tea. Hot. But see, at the same time, it. you're still going to... That might be one model, but you're still going to actually buy this, the designs that you want. If someone comes up with a really cool design that you can print with your group... be free. They would they charge money. Pirate it. Oh. Yeah, okay. Like what we were saying before, I mean, there's going to be underground training and all of that. The idea that we should be paid for actually using their design, it's the exact same thing. We're computing again uh, based on what we use of theirs. Why yeah. would we ever pay for a design? Fuck that. Oh uh, yeah, I guess it's the whole like, you wouldn't steal a car, but if I could print it. Of course I would, I would. <laughs> yeah. If I could print it out, I would. Yeah, damn straight. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah. I just thought, yeah, the straight way as well, because I can see those guys like end up, they'll end up building like a, uh, a station, a printing station in each major city. I was thinking that as well, like, our, our, that idea I thought was, was kind of cool, and like being promoting it there, but I don't see why. Why would that happen? Like, I mean, if the well, transportation yeah. network's good enough, why do you need it in major cities? You only need it in one country, you only need it, the transportation to be small enough. Well, you just, so it's cheaper, really. No, well, say like, let's say Amazon. Amazon, a good example in the States. Let's say Amazon has, they only have like one distribution center and they ship all over the States. Yeah. Why do you need one in your local town? I guess so. It could just be that you... I think the, I think the, uh, the, the parable or whatever I was going off was like, the whole, um, say Apple launched their new iPad or whatever. Yeah. They could do an instantaneous worldwide release. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Just, yeah. They just say to every, say, printing station in every major city, say, print now. Yeah. And they just print off a like, thousand of them each or something and then send them out? Well, couldn't... I mean, Apple kind of does that right now, that they say that to their factories and then they ship it all out on yeah, then there's never a worldwide release, is there? Of course. They did no, it with no. the iPad, they did it with the iPhone. No, Australia was always months afterwards. No, no, I wonder what the... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah actually, with yeah. Apple we were. With other stuff, though, it's the same. Like, I mean, if anything, we, we should be basing it off digital distribution. I mean, that's the only yeah. thing we have well, yeah, to... Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, it's going to be power of the day. Yeah, but a anything Maybe relating to it, that say like, you know, any computer game, like say Half-Life 2 or mm. Episode 2, or, I don't know, what, what's a recent game that's come out? Team Fortress 2, StarCraft 2, StarCraft, Starcraft 2. <laughs> Releasing all these things. Uh, well, like when that came out, that was like a, a universal thing right there, and I was going crazy with that, but it's all, um... Yeah. It's still a, a one-day launch that, hey, look, if you want it right now, you can quickly buy it. Yeah. Why would that be the same thing with um, digital distribution, like your own 3D printers or anything? You won't be able to print everything, but you'll still at least be able to get it shipped to you straight away. Well, how do you solve, like, the big, the big problem that people really get concerned about with whole everything's free, like, say, StarCraft 2, if they just gave that away for free, mm -hmm. how would they make money well, to then yeah, justify all more. the R&D to actually make, that's the whole, like, yeah. oh, if we don't get money, if we don't sell it, then we're not going to, yeah. we're going to make, not going to make more, it's not so much. That's kind of the flaw, really, isn't it? Like, you still need to actually provide money to R&D. And then, and then, even if we go into the, say, attention economy or whatever, where someone, like, a whole bunch of people get together and make stuff up to and send it out free, and then to use it, people then give them points, it's still essentially the same model. It is the same thing, yeah. Just not with dollars, but with points. So what's the... Well, can't it be a, 
What's the cross thing? Kind of like kind of a separate thing that they have. By someone using your product, you actually get points. You actually get gain money for someone using your product. Like us sitting on that couch right now, like we actually get oh, we get points or something. It. Every time you use it, so say the same thing with like StarCraft Two. Every time you use it, they get points. You only ever really expend money on trying to advertise it. So viral marketing becomes the number one way because that's free. So yeah. anything that's viral gets done for free, and you only spend money on marketing. Isn't that the kind of same thing? Like same thing right now. Yeah, like you buy the game, all the time you're going to use it. Yeah. So yeah. then. And then people who use it more, like, you wouldn't want to charge them more than others. But you should stop being, you, you sh yeah, well, see, that, that's where it, I guess it becomes different, because like, you look at the attention thing that you're doing it non-stop. You, you yeah. monitor anything that they actually input. So if they're using StarCraft to a ton, whereas, say, compared to another game, like, I don't know, Overlord or something, yeah, they're yeah, not that. using it that much, and so then everyone, on StarCraft 2, they get more points, or they get Yeah, in that sense, it makes a lot of sense. Then that means that Farmville and Zenga are going to get a ton, but they already do. Yeah. You're yeah. trying to make something to take up as much of someone's time as possible, much of their I computation. Guess, I guess it's almost making um. You know, it's almost making like a more level playing ground. Like say, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll say the, say your Farmville and Zengas and stuff. They often get more play time. Yeah. And that means that there's a lot less production value in it. Yeah. But then it means that something that puts a lot of production value in it, like stock up two or, or one of them, or, or wow, yeah. they're going to. I mean, then at the same time, if they make something really epic, people will use it. Yeah. They'll use it more, and they'll get more points. I think we're operating at the wrong level here. I, I think we're missing a step. I think we're analyzing it from the wrong spot. We're analyzing it in this epoch or economy. Well, see, I'm just trying to work out what's the difference between now and then. Well, then, like, is, then is free. We know what happens then. Then is... So you get... Well, maybe you just don't... Well, maybe the points don't come from the individual themselves, but from some outer source. Yeah. Like that whole, you know, we operate as a, cent as a central bank, and you say, okay, today you have a thousand points to spend in 24 hours. You always do, yeah. You can, or maybe you can say, like, like split up per... Say, how many seconds in a day? Well, even less than that. Why, why not actually just say, whenever you're using our service, you use up some of your points? Because... Uh, Where do the points come from? Whenever you use the service. Uh, that's a hypothetical example. Like, let's say you use Facebook. Whenever you're using Facebook, whatever status you comment on, whatever like you give, whatever picture you view, you're yeah. giving points to people. So what you could do as an individual, you could actually have a running tally of the amount of seconds people have viewed your content. So let's do the uh, same thing with Reddit. Right. Let's say that you start submitting stuff to Reddit, you keep on posting, Twitter's probably a better example, you keep on posting, you keep on doing that, yeah. you get a running tally of the amount of seconds, the amount of time that someone has invested in looking yeah. at you. I, I, have a, um, I have a thing. The, oh, yeah. point, the points don't come from individuals, they come from this external source, time. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. So in that sense, it makes a lot of sense. Because rather than, rather than at the moment, it's like, okay, I have X amount of dollars, you have Y amount of dollars, you have something I want, therefore I have to and give you... And my Y amount of dollars. <laughs> I, have to, I have to give you some of my X amount of dollars yeah. for whatever I want from you, and therefore I'm less. Yeah. Whereas in the attention economy, if you actually have... Um, it's all based on the amount of time people are giving to you, and they, they don't actually pay... See, they don't actually have to have the time... Well, that, no, actually they do in a sense. But it's not a click, it's not a... Uh, how much thought do you put into a transaction? Why don't we remove the idea of a transaction? Why don't... Right now, yeah, I'm it's... giving you a shitload of points because I'm focusing on, like, conversing with you. Yeah. Same way that you're giving me shitloads of points by yeah. actually conversing. So what we could actually do is measure that, and same say with all this stuff around this room. We could all, we would put a value on all of it about how much it's actually impacting our cognitive ability. And we actually put a value on that, and then they get points based on it. Why wouldn't yeah. that work? Right? Say anything you submit to Twitter, anything you submit to Facebook, anything you, anything you submit to Reddit, you get points based on the amount of attention yeah. anyone else has associated. Yeah. And it, that's, that's it. It's an easy that, thing that's to do. I think. Well, you know what I'm saying now? That it's, does this cognitive leap make sense? It's like, rather than I have points, you have points, we exchange, it's like, um, here's time. Yeah. It's a separate kind of pool of time, obviously yeah. that's incrementing one per second, yeah. and then um, each, each, when we actually give attention to something, we get money from that, that thing gives us money, Yes. so we're never actually losing money in a sense. No, we're, we're always just giving away, because 
In that sense, we never give money. We always gain. We're points. always yeah. We're, we're always just giving off points. Anything, any attention we pay to something, we should be giving points because. But those points we don't, don't ever have. Say when to I'm lose. giving attention to you, you shouldn't be taking points away from me. No, no. You should just. I should be. No, no. I, I, I'm. Mm. Your points are going to me. But it just means that because your attention's there, if you weren't paying, paying attention to me, you were paying attention to nothing, or you're listening yeah. to the same music, your, your points would be going to that. Your so points like will I, go somewhere, yeah. no matter what. But it's always on an inc like incremental time base, so I'm never losing... You're never losing points, because yeah. let's say every second you're giving away a thousand points, and mm. so say when you speak to me, you're giving me 800, and you're giving everything else in the room 200 or something. Yeah. It's not like I have, like have $1,000 and to get something off you I have to spend 500 so now I only have $500. Like, no, 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 no. It's, it's like, like every second you're always... You're, you're always, you're always making... And, it's yeah. like you're making a dollar every second yeah. and that dollar is then going to... to be spent that second. It's going to everything that you're attentioning. Yeah, it's going that's towards. it. Anything that you're computing. This anything you're thinking. Awesome. It's a good way to think about it. It's a good way to actually put it. Yeah, because <laughs> that, that's a difficult leap though. It is. We need to make it though. Like, I think it can work if we actually focus on you... a hive mind that did that. Like, I've read a Twitter, Facebook hive mind. Yeah, but how, it's gonna be ubiquitous. It can't. No, no. It can start off small. It can start off small if you just had the whole. We record whatever you're looking at, and that person gets points. Like, I'd like that as Reddit. Like, just say I, I've submitted stories. Like, same with Twitter. I submitted stories. Facebook do it all the time. Yeah. I want to know exactly how much time someone's screen has been opened on my story and looked at. Yeah. Like say I linked to a New York Times article. I want to know for how long people have actually spent on that thing. And I get points based on it. It says this many seconds has been allocated to me and these are my points because I've used up this many people's, this well, much people's time. We could totally do it but it can't be the feed interface anymore. Why not? Because it can't, it can't be like a list of a hundred Reddit stories because you can't work out which one people are paying attention to unless they click on it. Oh. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've worked through this before. We were like, we could never work that out, could we? <laughs> There's that interface where you basically, instead it kind of recommends you one, yeah. and then you have to click on it to actually read the story, yeah. and then it starts clocking over the time you're spending on it. It might still not be a bad first step. Or it just, it just shows you one story at a time, and mm. then it's like, uh, no, next, or one, next. And that's why I think you need a recommendation engine again, so... Stumble upon stuff. Yes, Stumble upon would be perfect for that, because they just record how long you're on that. So I'm sure they do that now, they must. Why do you pick all points based on what you stumble on? Because it's stumble upon and they're pretty much what they were started like four years ago. They're really old now. They're yeah, not than four years, I think. They're old school. Yeah. But but there's no way... How do you, you can't... Maybe we should contact them. <laughs> well, we can do it our own. Like, stumble upon isn't technologically difficult. It's just a toolbar, essentially. Yeah, you just say stumble. You can do it on a website. Yeah. You can do that, yeah. Maybe you're like, oh... This is where, like, dude, fucking game of like. Like, I don't know. Uh, I don't mention too much. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you can just, like, you can just, like, log into Facebook, a whole bunch of stories, just, like, next, 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 cool, next, 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 yeah. cool. Recommend them all. The feed model could still work. I mean, we don't have any other better system. Like, Stumble Pond's the only other better system. Yeah, it's not a good system. No. Oh, no. uh, wouldn't it be amazing if, um, say, Chrome could do this, or any browser, because I think the browser is kind of the place where it needs to happen. Browser is where we're spending all that time. Yeah, like, it, but wouldn't it be amazing if Chrome, say, released publicly in anonymous format every single link everyone clicked at any given time? Yes. And from where they came from, yeah. And then from once they clicked on that link, where they went after that? Yes. And for how long? Yeah, you can record and everything. The power of that. I bet they already Turn are. They're just yeah, they have, they're they, displaying it. Yeah, they don't want it because there'll be privacy issues oh, galore. That's the is, problem. But that's fucking ridiculous. But if they release that as like, hey, hey, this is completely anonymous. There's absolutely no way to track this back to you. Release an X Prize model on top of that. Anyone who comes up with a cool idea, use for this. Make people argument. actually track going more links, yeah. going more there. Thank God, how did, and, Probably all these companies with massive, massive power, how the fuck do you contact them and say, well, you can, Dude, no. I have an epic idea for you. you well, you can. It's easy to contact them, but it's not... Because we're only thinking from one perspective. It's hard to actually change a whole big model or to do something like that. Even something like Google or like that's meant to be pretty liberal and pretty open. You can't change that. It's a beast. It's a bureaucracy. It's a, it's, it's a massive Well, that's why you have, That's what I mean. Contacting, you have to go to the top. 
And even then, you'd, it's, you'd have to go to Larry Page. And be well, like, even Larry Page and Sergey Brin and all, all of them, like you can't. They couldn't change it. They're, they're fo- all they are is search. They're, they're nothing else. Yeah, well, that's they're maybe the Android. Maybe that's Android the, now. Well, so I don't think. Did Page come with Android? We don't, we don't know. Uh, I mean, they obviously know the right spot, but to actually. They won because they, they picked Search and they just happened to dominate Search. Well, surely, but isn't there a big thing, like, isn't Larry Page's thing about, like, let's do, let's create AI from all this data? Yeah, That's the whole thing. it's the same as, I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a smart guy, but I think he's the same as, like, Arsenal or that, it's a little bit pie in the sky. But then wouldn't you be like, well, the best way would be just to open up all our data and just share no. it to the world? Uh, yeah, true, but so his other overriding concerns are about, you know, the share price and opening up all the data would tank Google, like, people would freak the fuck well, out. Now's the perfect time, so they're worth so much. Well, yeah. Oh, we didn't actually speak about collapse. Any of the massive collapse of the US. <laughs> With free, yeah. yeah.